Hey friends, it's Steve from Black Octopus Sound, and I'm going to show you a great way to use multiband compression to tonally round and smooth out a mix. And I'm going to use a vocal to demonstrate how I do that. And I'm going to emphasize the importance of the ratio parameters of 1.1 to 1.5 to 1 as opposed to a two to one or a three to one ratio. So very minor amounts of compression, very minor amounts of gain reduction we're gonna be working with here. And that's to get the desired effect that we want while preserving our mix and the audio integrity of our vocals here. So this is the track and I will run it through for a pinch so you can get to know it. I may be down, but I'm not out Look into my eyes, there's no doubt I found my place against the grain Count every loss, it's always gain, gain Straight into the light I found myself defeated Crawling out of the ashes, victorious Great. So squaring it on the vocal here, let's do that. And so I've got multiband compression alive on the track. So I'm just going to kill it for a moment. And I want you to hear, pay attention, similar to how with our vision, we might focus on a little like speck of sand or something that's on our work area on our desk or something like that, like a little speck of something, how our eyes would laser in on an object. I want you to laser in with your ears on the high end. Pay attention to the air of the vocals. Down, but I'm not out. Look into my eyes, there's no doubt. I found my place against the grain. Count every loss, it's always gain, gain. Straight in. So I'm hearing there's a little bit too much air on the top end. And I'm noticing that when I listen to this track, as particularly at loud volumes, I'm noticing it's agitating my system a little bit. It's bringing up a little bit of tension in the body. That's not necessarily a deliberate effect. And on higher, on really loud sound systems, it could actually hurt people's ears. So the idea with a great mix is we want it to be easily digestible to the human brain and comfortable to listen to. So people aren't when they listen to it. And so that involves smoothing out the lumps or spikes, as I like to call them. And multiband compression is a great way to catch those spikes. Now, less is more, and that's the theme of my usage here. So let's just solo in on the air. I'm electing to use a multiband compressor instead of a de because I want to capture this whole area of the spectrum unlike a de which does frequency band gain uh, gain reduction in a in a needle nose notch area so i want to kind of encapsulate a broader area so that would make a de inappropriate here and so now i'm going to make the band come alive here and i'm going to work the parameters a little bit some key points i'm not going to go higher than a 1.5 to 1 ratio just because that's too much gain reduction and i'm going to suck the life out of a sound so we're really doing micro amounts of compression here I'm going to unpack what the ratio does and how to work it in utter detail with a compression wizardry class that's coming up. It starts February 1st. It's going to be one of the best compression classes for dance music ever done. And I'm super stoked to team up with a dawn of a producer named Ahi, and it's going to be killer. And so compression mastery is the goal here. And so more on that later. But um. The message here now is that I'm going to use a shorter ratio and I'm only going to do a minor amount of attenuation gain reduction with the compressor. So I'm only kind of just bringing down the signal a little bit with a micro amount of, uh, of, of ratio and the attack time is at 30 milliseconds and that's important because if it's at zero, the gain reduction starts immediately in the high end and it could suck the life out of the high end of important syllables that need high end information 
for the word to be expressed clearly. And so I don't want to kind of, tr I don't want to bring down the initial attack of each word. So I want about 30 milliseconds of, of, of full high end signal so that the T's and the C's and the enunciations that have high end that's needed squeak through and aren't reduced. So I hope I explained that clearly. And so now let's listen to how this impacts the signal. I'm going to nuke it so we hear it and we'll start at 1.5 and go down. So basically the air is gone and that discomfort is alleviated. And so that's good news, uh, but it's too much and it's sucking the life out of the signal. So right there, it starts to enter the realm of comfortable to listen to, to my ears. And so now let's hear it in context. Down, but I'm not out. Look into my eyes, there's no doubt. I found my place. Do you notice how the air feels a lot smoother? It sounds a lot more smooth. Now let's turn off the, the multiband compression that I've done to have an uh, before. Down, but I'm not out. Look into my eyes, there's no doubt. I found my place. Down, but I'm not out. Look into my eyes, there's no doubt. I found my place against the grain. Count every loss, it's always gain, gain. Straight into the light side. Found myself. So some key takeaways, less is more with multiband compression, use a small ratio to trim a frequency band 1.1 to 1.5. And uh, this is a situation where a de would be inappropriate and multiband compression is needed instead. So I hope this was a little bit valuable and I really hope you consider joining us for Compression Wizardry, which starts running February 1st, 2018. Classes are on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings and it's okay if you miss a class because you'll get access to the video so you can actually do the class on your own time if that's your preference. Although being in a community live and learning from other people and just being in that collective field is also really incredible. So it's uh, awesome if you could join us and details in the description below. Ciao.